turn it a bit to yourself. What? Turn it a bit to yourself. Ah, it's okay. Like that. The guest star is you now. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I have Lina as event organizer of this project. Lina, can you introduce yourself a bit? So, hello. Do you want to hear my local life story? Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, initially, I'm an informatics system engineer. Mm -hmm. But since I finished university, I decided not to go to this area like at all. This area? Like IT engineering. Ah, okay. Because since the university, since even since my school years, I was uh, always with this like Erasmus project, mm -hmm. with any kind of projects, mm -hmm. coordinating and everything. So uh, since university, mm -hmm. when I when I started started to st my studies, I went to ESN Erasmus Business ESN, Network. Yeah, yeah. I spent there five years. Where? In the uh, ESN Vilnius Tech. ESN Vilnius. Uh, ESN okay. Vilnius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have like universities. Mm -hmm. I spent there five years. Then five um, years. Yeah. So, so the four years of bachelor, and yeah. then I decided to stay because like I wanted to contribute somehow. Mm -hmm. mm. And after that, my jobs were kind of connected to Erasmus program in one way or another. Okay. And now I work in uh, university in international relations office. Ah, and I so sent students to Erasmus. Ah, okay. So okay. that's a little bit about myself. That's our first exchange, mm -hmm. first youth exchange. And this is your first project that you make? Yes, it is. Youth, it's first youth exchange. Why? Why you want to make this project? Mm, because like last year, mm -hmm. two years ago, yeah. me, Gintari and my f one more friend... It was COVID, right? Hmm? It was COVID, pandemic, two years ago. Oh, like a year and a half, like a year and ah, a half. Yeah, yeah. We opened an NGO uh -huh. because we got inspired by our friends who are already doing that. Uh -huh. And the first project we did was Solidarity Corps. Solidarity, I know that. So it's like we were doing for half a year. Mm -hmm. It was like some some trips for locals, mm -hmm. and it was meant to break the bridge between Lithuanian and foreigners. Okay. So we were doing like uh, some hiking together, kayaking, uh, like board games, okay. just everything what we wanted to do as a friend group. Uh -huh. We invited other people, like Lithuanians, foreigners, to do it together, and that was like for half a year. Do I should should I look to the camera? It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> because I'm like talking to you. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> so, and uh, you know, the next stage, uh, the mm -hmm. big, a little bit bigger prog program uh, project after Solidarity Corps is mm -hmm. youth exchange, in our opinion. So we thought, okay, so it, it's the last next step. Let's do youth exchange. And then you did this project. Yes, yes. And why this topic, LR? IRP. Actually, we created it because uh, in one project when we went with, with Gintaria, mm -hmm. uh, we get to know some people who are kind of into that mm -hmm. and they also like inspired us for... Um, they showed us what LARPing is mm -hmm. and Gintaria's uh, boyfriend... You went to the project? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. As participant. Okay, you participated. And Gintaria's boyfriend is also kind of into this stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, how to connect these things? Mm. Because it seems like interesting, because if you know like LARPing, it's like usually like huge events with a lot of different characters, with a mm. lot of like mm -hmm. action and mm -hmm. topics and everything. So I think we thought that uh, is really a big area to explore, you know, and to find something nice there and to use it in our real life. So you have been together with Gintare? Yeah. yeah. Since? Oh. Two years ago, since that project, no? Or before um, that, you already... No, we get to know each other actually in my previous job. Ah, okay. Our offices were in the same floor ah. and we were playing ping pong together. <laughs> so that's okay. how we get to know each other. So you are a native Lithuanian? Uh, I would not say so. Why? I consider myself a Lithuanian. Okay. Uh, but my par grandparents, my parents are... All of them are from Belarus. Belarus. So okay. they moved when, like, a lot of years, long time oh, ago, long like 40, 30 years ago, I guess, um, when the, you know, this atomic power plant mm -hmm. were built. So my, my grandpa was an engineer. So they moved to Lithuania and stayed here. In Vilnius? 
or in another city? Uh, not uh, in Vilnius, in another, in another little city. What is called, called Visaginas? Visaginas. It's far from Vilnius. It's like two hours and a half with the, with the bus. With the bus. Yeah. Okay. And why this Trakai? Look at this place. I know, I know. You look <laughs> at this place. But you have another option. We had another option in Vilnius initially, like okay. just in a host in a co hotel. Ah. Uh, so it would be nice, but uh, because you know, like city life and everything, yeah. it's also really cool. But uh, I don't know. Probably for me and Gentaria, these kind of things are more important when you yes. can gather people, when you can just be all in one group and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you are in a house like that, mm -hmm. you don't have another option. You have to talk, you have to yeah, communicate. Yeah. So the bonds created here are much, uh, much stronger than if someone would live in a, in a Vilnius in a hotel room. I can see that. Yeah, I can feel it because when you have the restriction or limitation, yeah, you have to socialize with the other. Yeah, yeah. And also, how do you think? this project can inspire the participants with your uh, yeah with your method or some kind of your perspective maybe in a way mm -hmm. i think uh, there's a lot of people who came here for the first time who came yeah. for erasmus project for the first time for me for, for you as well yeah because i'm not european so i it's hope for me. i hope that uh, you know, when you come mm -hmm. to this kind of place, when you see that, oh, that's how it can be, that's how can easy, that's how easy it is to communicate with uh, others, that's how easy it is to create bonds mm -hmm. and to learn something, and not exactly from the tutor but or facilitator, but from the another other people like me. So like you, like like. We like, <laughs> maybe like other okay, okay. but like me as well, maybe. <laughs> okay. But um, for me, it's important that just people come, they gather, they get to know each other, and I think that is the best uh, learning that uh, that can possible be. And especially when those people are from different cultures, who have different perspectives on things. So as I said, like in the room, that you know, when I was uh, traveling to my first exchanges. I didn't really care about the topic. Where? Where is it? I Your was in Turkey, Turkey, in Italy, in China. No, the first, Republic. the first uh, project. The first one was in Turkey. Turkey, Ankara. It Istanbul. was in uh, Kotsaeli, oh, a little village. Oh, you okay. know, something like that. Who? It's so nice. It is nice. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. So when you come, you talk, you listen to others. I, you know, I like the phrase that um, sometimes we listen. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes we hear, but we do you not listen. listen. So, this is also important thing which we all are learning here. To actually to listen to the person and to give sincere answers, let's say it that way. Yeah. As an uh, organizer, do you have some criteria which... So, I don't know, a lot of participants, how you choose them, how you choose us? Well, uh, there is some rules mm -hmm. how to choose participants. Not mm -hmm. rules, but like more strict suggestions yeah, uh -huh. from the European Union and also our national agency. It's like first of all, it should be like gender balance. Okay. Uh, for us, but it's not really gender yeah. balance. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, but still, uh, second, there should be people with. Um, limited abilities, okay. some fewer uh, abilities, mm -hmm. like migration or maybe some economical issue uh -huh. or something like that. That's, that was also a criteria. Mm. But I don't know, we, we didn't reject anyone. Maybe, uh. from, maybe from Lithuania because uh. <laughs> we had a lot of from Lithuania, but uh, like pretty, pretty enough people from other countries. Okay. Uh, so. We just accepted uh, we, like, mm. with someone we chatted a little bit. Mm -hmm. and but we miss one country, right? Yes, France. Yeah. It was and just a miscommunication between uh, partners, I guess. Oh. Because I don't want to say anything bad about it. Maybe it was just really wrong time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, we, like, I, what I, I really trusted, like, 
the um, the NGO. You just approach one organization, or yeah, you separate in the like. Uh, no, we Erasmus we Global. agreed. We agreed that okay, they will participate. Okay, okay. And uh, they were talking to us. Everything was pretty fine. And uh, the week before, I just wanted to confirm mm -hmm. the number of participants who will come. Yeah. And they say, yeah, we had them, but now they all cancelled. So we don't have any, and we we'll, well, that's a little bit sad, but <laughs> okay. But do you believe? Do you believe in coincidence? Uh, I do believe in coincidence. Maybe, Why? maybe how to say it? Not in coincidence. I because I didn't believe it. I believe that everything happens for the reason. Yeah. So you don't believe in coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. Yeah. So everything happened for the reason. For the reason, yes. Yeah, because before this project, I think I told you, or maybe Gintara, who know who replied my message, I got accepted one week before this because I never have participated in this kind of project. But mm -hmm. in that time, I parti uh, I have received in the Germany. Mm -hmm. I like the the topic in that time, but in a way, it's German, as in in the big city, in the capital city. But with this project, it's like. A kind of sound like middle of nowhere, Traka, I don't know it's Traka, it's not fitness. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Where is it? I, I put it in the Google and it's like in the middle of nowhere, there is lake, castle, and then, but it's so nice. It's cool, but let's, let's get, give a try, something like that. And then, so I, I'm here. And then, when I talk with the people, some of the parties, one of them said, Do you know? I feel like we know each other like once year ago. Yeah, that's so and cool. I feel I feel it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah, yeah. Because I've been in the participant before. He said, uh, "I didn't feel like this. I feel like the same. Like a project. So, yeah, you go to mm -hmm. the seminar and then you listen and then you wrote something. But here, we feel like family or more than a friend, something like." I'm that. so surprised. Uh, how how only one week. Yeah. Can bring people so close to each other. Maybe a lot of a lot of uh, how you know to say a lot of sa not sign. I don't know how to say it. a lot of uh, support system, the place, the accommodation, the activities. Itself. Yeah, the activities. You do something together in groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also the and vibe. And again, again, there is nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're right. And then what do you do for a living? Actually, I do. I work in university. In university, ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So tomorrow, I'm actually I'm coming back after like two week holidays. Ah, <laughs> you got two weeks. I love holiday. my job. I love my job, okay. but I don't want to come back at all <laughs> because <laughs> last week I was doing uh, Camino. Camino, Camino what is Camino? Portuguese. Ah, okay. Uh, it's like the Camino de Santiago. Okay, this okay. Pilgrim yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. So for me, it's like it. For me, these two weeks feels like it was a month. To be honest. I don't know, as so many things happen, so many people here in the project. And uh, you know, today I was. Oh, I, today I was uh, after we gave feedback and I heard all the words people gave, and I was feeling like, okay, my Camino is still, you know, is still going. <laughs> because, like, so many, like, reflection. Mm -hmm. You were swimming, baby. And then uh, you will make one, another one next time, like this. I will. Well, yeah, we will definitely do that. We'll definitely do that. Not this year because this year we do not have any yeah. more projects. Mm -hmm. But uh, next year, yeah. And then follow us. You fight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe you can mention it here. Your Instagram or something. Instagram. Your just site. Just website. Uh -huh. And. Uh, Maybe you can leave it in the in this description. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. You said. And I don't know. How uh, about you tell me how how do you feel about everything? Pretty well. Pretty what, no, tell me you tell the old told already what you how you feel about it. What you are going to donate and later, what you will do with with this kind of experience. With this kind, it's like you know I feel like home here. Why? Because I used to be like this one. In my university in Indonesia, when I did my bachelor there, uh, the place is near with the mountain, and I used mm -hmm. to go to the mountain. Used to be in the villa like this, and with the environment, with this kind of uh, trees, trees, mm 
Mm-hmm. How you call this one? Pinus? Pine, pi- pines. Pine is, no, pine. 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 I think it's pines. Yeah. Most With this them. kind of tree. And when the first time I came here, it's like, it's like Malang. Malang is the city that uh, I used to study. Mm-hmm. No, it's actually it's not Malang. It's Batu. It's like one one hour from Malang. It the felt same. it felt a bit nostalgic, maybe, no? Yeah, mm. and I love the city so much because I don't know why. Even comparing with my hometown, I love that city because it's not so warm, not so hot, and the degrees like in tropical countries like twenty something, so it, which is good because in my hometown is thirty or thirty mm. more than because uh, my hometown is in the island so I'm Ice- Islander mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so and then the food also even I know I cannot expect much with the European vegetarian because mm. I'm vegetarian so as Asian we have a lot of choice yeah, but when I came to Europe yeah, yeah you it's know either avocado yeah, and something potato, <laughs> potato with the cheese something like and that some okay rice. yeah yeah actually i expect a lot of rice but in some so oh here is in, some weird grains no there is only one rice <laughs> yeah actually ones. there was full of yeah yeah which is me and hamad very oh, we had, we get rice okay let's <laughs> eat it <laughs> Finally. Finally, it's rice then. When we're eating more and then no, there is no more rice. I would not say I would not say that rice is like extremely popular. Yes, it is. Yeah. We eat it. But also like other kind of grains is also like always. Mm. But for us as Asian, uh, I don't know, maybe in another family, but in my family when you didn't eat rice, it's like you didn't eat. Have you <laughs> eat? No, it's only two bread. <laughs> it's only two bread. Have you eat? No, it's only noodle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only it's the, only it's only something. If see, not rice. You see, that's a very good example. You were just talking about the food. Yeah. But I'm already know a little bit more about the culture. Yeah. You see, and mm. that that's uh, the this amazing part of the learning process when you just eat, talk. And then how about Lithuanian potato? Every day. Not every day, you know. But uh, our food, I would say, it's it's quite simple. So we like uh, mixing any kind of like salads. And not like green salad, but like for example, you mix boiled potatoes, yeah. <laughs> boiled carrots, and like some red potato, bell potato, yeah, mashed potato, potato, mashed and boiled potato. Yeah. <laughs> but um, about that, you mentioned it uh, in Trakai. How you call it? Kibine, kibine, kibinai. Kibinai. Yeah. Did uh, you try it? No. No. But uh, yeah. There is Possibly also like vegetarian kibinai. Yeah, who who try it? Carolina, I think spinach and I think Cheese. I we have we have the similar. We call it pastel. Pastel. Yeah, pastel, okay. with different ingredient inside. Mm-hmm. E- either is meat or yeah, it's the same like carrot and potato or something okay. like that. Okay. Okay. Actually, if to think like a lot of different foods. foods are quite similar among the world, but they just like cooked in a little bit different way, and uh, have a <coughs> I swear, mm-hmm. and have a little bit different feelings. But how the Lithuanian food influenced by by European or by Turkish or something? I would say how to say how to answer because to you. you I think Lithuanian food is based on something that we can take from the ground like carrots potatoes mm-hmm. like uh, if it, we talk about like anything that grows apples. here right yeah yeah, yeah. I think mm-hmm. it's quite natural for every every region every country mm-hmm. and for us it's like this kind of like things mm. have you been to Asia before no I never been never only I, Europe? I not I don't consider Turkey as Asia Ah, uh, yeah, cool. Turkey is yeah, half so and half. I never been, but I would like to just travel around everywhere as possible, mm. and uh, I hope next year it will it will happen. Yeah, let's see. So you studied in the Vilnius, or yeah, I studied in Vilnius. Mm. Have you been live in another country? Yeah. Well, I lived in Germany for like two months. Germany. So uh, yeah. in Hamburg. 
from work, like yeah. work related things and uh, I left in Portugal, in Portugal. Coimbra city Coimbra. the guys are from Coimbra yeah uh, I did my Erasmus there but you know it was I went for autumn semester autumn mm -hmm. and I decided to extend because I really liked it why? It was, was just, the it was the weather, it was people, it was uh, the way how things were going for me there, how I felt myself. And I decided to extend, but that was uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. I extended and Corona started. And I yeah. went to Lithuania in the beginning of February, yeah. I went to Lithuania just for one week. And I never came back to Portugal <laughs> since then. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, it's like. You love that you don't have. You love what you don't have. Right? Kind of. You love what you don't have. Yeah, you don't have the sun every day here. That's why you go to Portugal to to feel the yeah. weather. Yeah. Oh, okay. Actually, that's like, uh, for me. But you well, know, mm -hmm. okay. Sorry. Uh, yeah, it's like in Indonesia tropical. No, we don't have winter there. We don't have snow there. But you love it's winter. holiday. Uh, I don't. I didn't say I love winter. I love. I love snow, but not the winter. Okay, agree, agree. Yeah. Because the first time, the first year, I am so excited. It will be snow. Well, after that, after all, oh, it's like. It's okay. Yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, saw enough, everything. Enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw everything what I used yeah. to see. Because you know, I want to go to store to buy something, but. You have to put all your stuff mm, to your true. body. That's true. It just it's not just two hundred meter maybe to go to the store, but you have to pull. If not you will be freezing. Mm. But in my can you don't have to wear your shoes. For you how long do you this. live in Romania? Five years. Five years already. Oh yeah, maybe four because almost six months I live in Greece. I do my mm -hmm. Erasmus there. Mm -hmm. And it was corona as well. No. <laughs> so I didn't explore a lot but yeah, it feel like home in Greece because yeah, mm -hmm. the sun, sunny every day, and then I don't know. But that's what I'm talking about. Do you like a sunny or winter or how? I uh, love spring and autumn mm -hmm. because like winter, I can handle str uh, stress. <laughs> I can handle the snow and the cold. So can okay. okay. So Do you like snow? I like snow, but again, I also don't don't really like like winter. It's mm -hmm. it's enough, you know, for Christmas, yeah. for New Year. Okay, mm -hmm. thanks, thanks. That's that's more than enough. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also don't really like summer, to be honest, because why? I don't know. Like you don't like summer, but you want to stay in the Portugal. I mean, mm -hmm. to to come sometimes to yeah. Portugal, you know. But uh, I just don't like heat. I don't like to sweat. It's like really irritates uh. me. So that's why I don't really like uh, summer. For me, the perfect is autumn or spring, when I can wear a, a, a sweater and a coat, and that's the perfect. That's the perfect. What uh, what I can think of. And also, I observe uh, a people in the film is usually that mm -hmm. I went there, and some participant also tell me that. People in Lithuania or in Vilnius, especially, uh, in a way, didn't smell, smile a lot. Smell. Smile. <laughs> Maybe also not smell. <laughs> smile. Smile. That's a true. Lot. Yeah. That's true. And I think it's uh, we still have it from the, mm, the Soviet past. Soviet yeah. uh, thing, uh, because I suppose like Slavic culture and East mm. European culture are like that. That. You open up, you smile only to someone who you really want to do that. Um. So it's not common, like, uh, oh, hi, oh, I'm so happy yeah, to yeah, see you. Yeah, wow. yeah, 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 yeah. No, we will not do that. I mean, we still like appreciate person and mm -hmm. we still like maybe enjoy in conversation, mm -hmm. but we will be like, like this Mona Lisa, mm -hmm. very little smile. So, yeah, and also for the girl, for the woman, a lot of woman or girl use like a dress or rock rocky how do you say this rock dress like uh, not not a pants hi okay like you wear like um i would not say so but uh, but most of them if even the thing you notice yeah 
I will serve. Hmm. That may be because it's summer. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I maybe, know. maybe, maybe. Like uh, kind of because I didn't, I didn't see this, I didn't saw this in the country that I visit. Even in Romania. Really. For the teenager, yeah, most of them like, yeah, like uh, right now, modern style with uh, skirt, uh, mini dress or something mm -hmm. like that. But here, I miss with that. I don't know. In the park when we went to the Vilnius, most of them. It's mm -hmm. not all of them, of course. Majority. Yeah, yeah, understood. I don't know. I can just say for only for but myself. But you feel, and that how you feel when you when I feel really like I don't know feminine, I guess. Yeah. I feel anyway. good. Like I feel comfortable. I don't feel like ex not exposed. I don't care really about that. But uh, I feel just uh, good. Like I can do every stuff, everything, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, still be like you know. Lithuania. Can you tell me, I don't know, that I didn't know about the Lithuania? I don't know what you know about Lithuania. Like, it's, um, it's a Nordic country, right? Hmm? A Baltic country. It's Baltic country, Baltic yeah. Country. We and Latvians are... Similar? Uh, kind of similar, yeah. Uh, but we're like... We count ourselves like brothers, you know. Mm -hmm. And Estonia is also Baltic country, but it's yeah. more, it's more, it's more far from us because he's try uh, Estonia trying to look more like uh, Finland. Yeah. Nor okay. Do you speak another language? Yeah, I speak Russian. Of course. I speak uh, English. How how you speak how you speak Russian? Did you learn in the school? C two two. C2 C2 What is C2? <laughs> it's like C2 but I have C2 uh, <laughs> No, because in family I speak Russian uh, yeah, yeah. In family I speak Russian, my hometown is kind of like Russian speaking city in Lithuania So all my friends, the school was in Russian um, I know Danish Not, Danish. not that well, but uh, I can speak, I can understand mm -hmm. And English, yeah Three languages? Yeah Cool enough Yeah Four. Four? Oh, Danish as well. Oh. Danish? Danish. B2? Mm, I would say B1, maybe like A2. <laughs> Why? How? Because yeah. uh, in my previous previous job, uh, I applied for like finance administration something. Mm -hmm. and finance? But you, you learn information what? Yeah, but I believed yeah. in myself. <laughs> when you believe in yourself, you can do different things. Okay, very good. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that was the rule, not the rule, but agreement between me and the company. company that first half a year I'm learning Danish, mm -hmm. so just just classes every day from morning till evening, just classes, and then after half a year I started the work. Okay. And I started to learn Danish. I was going there for like four months, but within this time I realized that the work will not be good you don't like I will job? not like it mm -hmm. and I left but still I have the course was really intense so I actually learned you don't like the job or you don't like the company I didn't like the job okay the position that you took yeah yeah, yeah. and I'm glad because I had time to realize that oh that's how it actually will be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you mm, yeah I think it's not with you. are you question are you considering to do a remote job I would like to, um, because you know everyone wants to. Yeah. Everyone wants to to have a chance to go like somewhere to place like that and to yeah. work from here. Yeah. And not to be connected to the office where your colleagues and. Uh, no, I have lovely colleagues, but just. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. Uh, but um, yes, of course, I would like to have a job like that to be a facilitator yeah. or, and I'm planning like even to study master, con like connected with this topic. But it's still like in 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 the in only in my head. Have you met Indonesian guys before? I think I did mm -hmm. because like I s in university I studied in English, ah. so my program was in English, mm -hmm. and uh, there was always international people. So I'm not the first one. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you are the first with whom I'm ha having a little bit like uh, deeper conversation. Let's say. Okay. But you still remember her name or his name? No, I don't, unfortunately. Mm. It was like in the second year of university, so second long time ago. In the Vilnius? Yeah, in Vilnius. Ah, he or she? It was uh, she. she. 
she studied she, in it was she. <laughs> she studied in Vilnius with you. Yes, yes, in my okay. university. Mm -hmm. So, if there is one country in Asia you want to visit, which could it be? Mm. That will not be a Bali because before you know it's like Bali, Bali, oh my God, Bali, yeah, yeah, yeah. coconuts. I don't know. Do you like a, I don't know, the tourist, touristic city, a touristic place, or no? I'm not against them. I'm not against them. But, but uh, if you go to cities like Porto or Roma, and yeah, you, yeah. it's like you want to see this kind of yeah. things because they're famous, exciting, yeah. fascinating. But when you see the bunch of people are walking around with their phones, it's like it's killing the whole life, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against, but I also like to just to come to some kind of place like that and like, oh, okay, this is Lithuania. This mm -hmm. is also Lithuania, you know. Yeah. Okay. It's like both. Both are okay, but. Are you? Mountain person mm -hmm. or a beach or sea person? What does it mean? Mountain? You like to go to the mountain or to the sea? Aye, mountain. Oh no, wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can, you know, for me, the sea, the ocean is a, is a source of energy. So I cannot, I, I think I will choose the ocean. Mm -hmm. But uh, mostly, more often, I go to the mountains. Yeah, because you don't have sea here. Yeah, <laughs> if you have seen, <laughs> it would be a well. different way. Because, yeah, I don't know. Uh, most of people that I met, when they are coming from mountain, they will say sea. They like the sea much. Yeah. When they are coming from sea, they're saying mountain. Yeah. You see, that's again this thing like we love something we don't have. That's. <laughs> but uh, I, what I wanted to say, that I don't say that is is maybe a good thing. I don't know, something to, to think about. That's why, don't compare yourself with the others. Yeah. Just be yeah. grateful, something like, okay, you don't have that one, but you have another yes, one. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. So that's, that sounds like when you use the word love, it sounds like more like a good thing, but in reality, it's not really... Yeah, in reality, it's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. 